it smells like, like almost like vanilla. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm just, I, maybe because you know what it is. I'm hungry too. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry. Hey, Chi Chi here, and welcome back to my channel, Comfortable Blue Sheep 365. So, I have a, uh, a Ulta haul. They just recently wrapped up their 21 Days of Beauty, so I have a couple of items that I picked up from that sale, as well as some re-ups, some new additions, and all that jazz so without further ado let's get into this haul first up is the real techniques miracle face and body sponge yo i've been trying to look for this sponge every time i see a youtube video and people are doing their makeup i'm like why is their why is their sponge so big so <laughs> i realized that they actually came out with a bigger sponge and i was like god damn it like i let me go get this because you know I do want to you know do my foundation a little bit quicker than what I've been doing it as of late and I figured this wouldn't be a bad bad little situation so ended up picking this up uh, they were having buy one get one half off of the real techniques so I ended up getting the bolt metals collection 301 flat contour brush and I really wanted to try this because I don't know sometimes I feel like when I cream contour with a sponge like it travels a little bit more than I would like it to so I figured that the brush I can have a, a little bit more control over my contour but this brush is really pretty I mean, let me try to bust this puppy open real quick the brush looks like 301 and it's extremely soft I believe this is a synthetic brush and I, I'm happy that this is a pointed tip because it's easier to just pop into my um, cup holder uh, with all of my other brushes I hate that the other real techniques have that big round bottom so I'm happy to see it on this and yeah it feels really soft and it feels like you know I'll be able to flick up my cream contour a little bit better and smooth it's nice and dense so hopefully this brush will work out for me I, I'm dying to use this I really am I'm super excited about trying to use that brush uh, next up is the benefit Cabral and this was a part of the 21 days of beauty I got it in the color 5 don't laugh I, I sat on I sat it yeah I sat on it by accident but it's not it's not about that outside packaging but here is the product um, this is supposed to rival Anastasia Beverly Hills um, but yeah I ended up getting this and with my brows like I've just been wanting to have the best brows I can so I don't know if I'm really into pencils I don't know if I'm into like the wax I, like I'm, I'm just open to trying it up I'm really trying to step up my makeup game here you know I'm I think I look okay but you know I really would like to you know step up my brow game a little bit like the next product that I picked up in which also was a part of the 21 days of beauty is the Mario Badescu vitamin C serum I don't know I've been wanting to um, try this out and it is a serum so let me just put some on it has a dropper it does have a smell but it's not a citrusy smell but I wanted to see how this would do and add it to my uh, nightly skincare routine it's it's not like citrusy when like you know how you think of a fresh orange or something like that a lemon it doesn't have that that citrusy smell it, I expected it to be a little bit more refreshing but I don't care about the smell I'm I care about what it's going to do so the claims for this it is supposed to reduce the visible signs of aging 
brighten uneven skin tone and smooth overall texture so I, hopefully it will do that but um yeah half off so wanted to give it a whirl hopefully I, I I don't have super problematic skin I do have my my breakouts uh, I definitely am fighting some uh, dark marks that the morena left me so I just want to be able to brighten up my skin tone and I wanted to give it a whirl also from Mario Badescu I ended up re-upping on the facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I really 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 love this this is my second bottle of it once I put on my powders but before my highlight and me setting it I really like to go over just spray my entire face and press in those powders to make my face look a little bit more skin like I really do like it I like the smell of this I know this comes with the um, in rose water but and I love roses but for, for some reason the rose water one it is it don't it don't work with me but this one I can I stand behind I really really do love this particular spread all right let's see what else we got oh yes so again 21 days of beauty they had the Clarisonic heads on sale buy one get one free free so I had to get these um, I got the sensitive brush head and I also got the radiance brush head looks like that uh, I personally use both I typically I will use this sensitive brush head at night just to kind of take off the day like if I'm wearing makeup if I'm not wearing makeup this brush head is firm enough where I feel like it's taking off my makeup like getting up in my pores and just really clearing out my skin and but soft enough where I don't feel like it's stripping my skin and irritating my strips so I really love the sensitive head and I like the radiance head for uh, the morning I use my Clarisonic twice a day every day I like to use the radiance brush head because this the bristles on this is so soft so I ended up like I, I really love this because let's face it I, when I take off my stuff in my makeup or wash my face to prepare for night I'm not going back out like once once I clean off my face I'm not going back out so it didn't make sense for me to go in with an abrasive brush so to speak so I chose something a little bit more delicate so you know I just wake up and you know start my day I don't have you know the pollution and I haven't been out in the world yet at night I all I've been is in my bed so using the radiance brush head I just feel like is a nice refreshing light texture so I you know I you don't want to overuse your Clarisonic because it will cause more harm than good so with the whole buy one get one free bought two got two free so I am good for the next six months the next product I picked up was this Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra 24 hour makeup in the color 460 suede W and normally this is what it looks like I'm sure you guys have seen it but this is going to be going back because I am currently on my Fenty kick. I am on Team Fenty Beauty right now. I absolutely love this foundation. This is my ride or die foundation. I feel like out of all of the foundations that I've tried, this one to me was just the best. I was going to get the, um, the Estee Lauder, but they were out of stock. That's the one I originally wanted, but um, yeah, they were out of stock and at the time I wasn't going to place a order for it. So I ended up getting this, but it will be going back to the store for just for just for a moment, boo. Just I'm still in love with this. But right now I want I wanna say I spent a lot of money on my Fenty. So I need to make it up. So that's the only reason why this is going back to the store. So my next three items are palettes 
and yeah, I, I, I kind of want it a little palette crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I had no intention of like really buying a lot of products, but I don't know, I, I just, I just went a little crazy. So the first thing I got was the Naked Heat palette. I know you guys have seen this all over the tube. Um, so I'm not, actually, I'm not even, no, I'm gonna just open it up. This is the Naked Heat palette, Urban Decay. I love Urban Decay, I, I really do. Like a lot of my, a lot of the palettes that I do have are from Urban Decay and I just wanted to wait because I ended up getting the Sephora Pro Palette in the warm edition and I just didn't feel the need to buy this but it, it just kept calling me and I was like yeah you're an Urban Decay girl. So I ended up getting this. This is These are the colors. It comes with a brush, you know, the drill. Um, yeah so I ended up picking this up and while I was there had to get this palette because it's being discontinued this is the urban decay smoky palette and here it is in all of its glory this was only retailing for 27 dollars so i was like yeah yoink oh shit i just i just put a little dent in it Put a little dent in it. It's okay, it's okay, I'll survive. You were $27. But um I got con too. Not con. It was a good con. Um Ulta has a credit card. So they were like, oh you wanna save 20%? And I was like, alright, cool. So <laughs> this actually ended up being less than $27. Actually, all of the palettes that I ended up buying were less than, you know. The retail price so that's the only reason why i got the smoky palette i originally didn't get the smoky palette because i already had a really old palette it was the smoked palette let me get that palette this is an old palette from urban decay so i ended up having this already so at the time the smoky palette actually came out i was just very hesitant on buying it because i was like eh, you know, i already have the smoke palette so um, but this was only $27, so I was like, actually less than $27. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pick you up because I am a Urban Decay junkie. And the final item that I picked up was the Tarte Tardius Pro Palette. I have never had a Tarte item. So on my little 20% discount spree, um, I ended up picking this palette up and uh yeah I thought these were very usable colors I thought the colors looked really nice and the palette smells really really good yeah, um I wanted to try this palette out I know it's been out for a while um I was drawn to a lot of the colors I and yeah I wanted to try something from Tarte and I figured this was a good palette especially since I got 20% off yeah that was the items that i picked up from ulta i'm really happy with all the products i'm excited to try some new products and see how they work of course some of the products that i do love i will definitely come back on here and let you guys know how i feel about them especially with bomb yeah so that concludes my ulta haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up you can like comment subscribe you know help a girl out if you like you know watching me do my little one too um yeah i hope you dig it hope you come back too so i will